All right, bro. So that last video was so far, I had to do a part two. Now this is, you know, the real Alpha Men of Society part two. And what we will be discussing today in this topic is going into deeper detail about the depression of this generation. And particularly the facial tattoos. That's a key sign of rebelliousness and hopelessness. Because I'm talking about these dudes have tattoos before they even are known in the industry. You feel me? A lot of these niggas come in the game. With tattoos. When you saw Wayne, nigga, he was baby faced, you feel me? He didn't have no fucking tattoos. When you saw baby, no tattoos. But you know they started that trend. Gucci too. They started that trend of, you know, getting money then flooding your face with tattoos. Rick Ross. He, they seen the older generation doing it. But they ended up doing it at their young ages. These niggas is Look at Trippy Red. That nigga was 17. He 18 now. And he's still getting tattoos. Look at Takashi 69. Before he was even in the game, nigga had a bunch of fucking tattoos. And still getting more. You feel me? These niggas, like, I guess it's like fuck the world. You feel me? This generation has that, but they express it differently. Every generation has that. But they express it differently. This is, see what social engineering has done to this generation is that they've made it like that. A lot of these niggas is extremely depressed. Now I understand it, but I don't don't I don't agree with how they express this shit. Self destructive, you feel me? The ones from the eighties were destructive of their communities. They were destructive of their environment. This generation is destructive. Of themselves, your little peeps, you feel me, overdosing and, you know, Zans and Lean and all that and getting laced with fentanyl. You know what I'm saying? It's bad. But, you know, society has pushed that on these youngins. And it's crazy that nobody's really addressing this shit. You think all these motherfuckers just coming in the game with all these tattoos and Niggas got to, you know what I'm saying, color their hair weird colors and shit to get attention. And they doing feminine things. And See, the thing about it is, is that they always felt like, look at Famous Dex, for example. They always felt like they was never going to be shit in life. So they come in doing troll music. They do um just any fucking thing. The wildest, most dumbest shit ever. And express their depression in different ways and talk about popping pills and zans and, and lean and shit. And now the people love them because the people also feel that connection to them by not having no clue about what to do in life and not being prepared for society and just living it up in a depressed, expressional way. If y'all get what I'm saying. But they are gravitated to that. That's why there's so many defense forces for whack rappers now. Because for one, everybody is trying to get in that same lane. You got to think about it. Look at this, man. You know the feeling of seeing a rapper that's whack. That has no lyrical ability. None at all. Be able to purchase a home. Be able to purchase a Bentley and... Have the finest females throwing themselves at him. You feel me? Who remember um, me roasting that video of that girl crying at a little Yachty show? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> shit like that, bro. When niggas see shit like that, and they subconscious mind, they know. Damn, I got to defend this type of shit because I can get in this shit too. That's why you see all these SoundCloud rappers and all these people trying to go in the same fucking lane, you feel me? F same lane. You know what I'm saying? And when they see that these individuals are purchasing homes and living, quote unquote, the life because of it, they won't in. They won't in because they realize that these motherfuckers got no talent at all. And that's what these defense forces are about. To protect the character that they want to eventually become and, you know, monetize themselves in this genre. To cultivate some type of 
fan base. Look at people like Lil Wop. You feel I can keep going. I'm bringing up motherfuckers as I go on, bro. Every single one of them, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a. It's socially engineered that way. These niggas is younger than me, bro. I'm 24 years old. A majority of these niggas is younger than me, bro. That's crazy. All these niggas got all these dumbass tattoos on their faces before they even came in rap. You know what I'm saying? So these niggas wasn't thinking about no job, and some of them wasn't even living in that street life for real. So they just had tattoos just to show that they didn't give a fuck, just so they can seem like they stand out. And now they got to try even more outlandish things. That's why Takashi is the most outlandish of them all. Because he got rainbow colored hair and 69 tatted over him all over his fucking body. And he still hasn't broken down what the 69 means. Some real suspect shit. Real suspect, nigga. <laughs> hey, man. Shit crazy. But the alpha males of society, this is what I mean to say. I broke. I went into you know some type of detail on it on the last video, but when they have whole intelligence agencies, when they have whole MK Ultra programs, when they spy on the civilians, they're not spying on you to see if you working out, to see if you doing this, if you doing that. Man, they spying on you to see what's on your mind, bro. To see what's on your mind, bro. That's the whole point. Because the most powerful thing on this earth is your mind. Not your muscles, not this, not sex game. Your fucking mind, bro. Fuck what the world telling you. Man, it, I ain't even finna break this shit down like that, but I'm gonna say this, man. All of that shit is superficial. The only real threat is your mind. Porn stars are not a threat. NBA players are not a threat. You know what I'm saying? But intellectuals are a fucking threat. So all that bullshit these motherfuckers be talking about, alpha males, bro. The niggas that get killed are not fucking porn stars, bro. The niggas that get killed are not NBA players. Not athletes. Niggas be intellectuals, bro. Fuck wrong with niggas, man. They spying on the intellectuals. So that should tell you who the real alpha males is in this world. But hey, man, let society keep pushing these damn superficial ass, goof ass, ego boosting ass shit going on. Actions speak louder than words, and they've been killing off intellectuals for since ever. And let's talk about this in deeper detail, too. You have, you know, the black community. We have constantly been at war with. Trying to protect our women. Now I'm finna go down the ba basics of this. You had, you know, Spain. The blacks lost control of that, you feel me? With the colonists. So, you know, those individuals up there, the, they became in power. Kicked the Moors out. They gave them the map to come to America. The indigenous people were here. And then the indigenous people had to fight for their women. They lost. Their, him... You know, the man and woman was put into into captivity. So 250-some years later, or 247 years later, like 619 to 1865, yeah, 200-some years later. So after that, the man, you know, you had a lot of, you know, movements going on you had the harlem renaissance you had a lot of things going on you know tulsa oklahoma a lot of things for black people to free our minds to uplift ourselves rosewood and eventually they bombed it you know they did all type of sabotaging and we came back again 1960s 1960s, we come with a whole movement. The black man is in full force of taking his woman's mind back and rebuilding his image in this American system. We're going to fight back. Malcolm X arises. Um, you know, the Black Panther Party, all type of organizations, you feel me? And 
they went into full force that time. COINTELPRO, J. Edgar Hoover, they went full force on taking them down. And that is where we lost them. And there hasn't been an uprising in black men since then. There has not, I want y'all to realize, there has not been an uprising in black men to stand up to the system since then. I'm talking about like three, four, where you could pick them out and they all doing heavy things and got real things going. Hasn't happened. So, after that, the 1960s is when you fully lost your woman. But just realize that just because the black man was fighting for that woman doesn't mean that she was in total alignment with the black man's plan. Because you have to always remember, colorism has always been an issue. So, even during the Black Panther times where they were trying to rebuild the image of the black man in America, you better believe colorism was an issue. Lighter is better and all of that shit going on. They just left the slave time, not just, but you know, a lot closer than we are now. Segregation was still going on. So keep that in mind. When you see all of this going on, you feel me? And just put it in perspective that this is what the black men was trying to fight. They were trying to fight to get their black woman mind back. And they lost. So they lost damn near three times. And now you're dealing with a whole new monster. We dealing, I'm talking about me, you, all the rest of you youngins. We dealing with a whole new monster. Captivated by the system. And that's the black woman. Because you can't win without her, but she ain't on your side. Subconsciously, she want to put up games. She want to make it harder for you. You feel me? The system is in her favor. I could go into details and using, you know, recent stories to back up my claims, but I'd rather not. So just know this, man. I had to make a part two just to tell y'all that. Just to put little things in perspective. So, yeah, man. Not trying to make this video too long. Just want this to be out there for y'all, man. Just a part two. No more videos, bro. That being said, man, y'all be good, bro. Every single one of you young niggas, man. These are the three videos that's going to be up. All the other ones. Nasheena Loves Cake got them. Community College Kid got them. And a couple more channels. I just don't can't think of their name at the time. So with that being said, bro, I'm gone. Peace.